Welcome back to How to Angora. Today I have Sam. Sam the Bunny Man. He is an English Angora and he is ready for a clip. Uh, he also matted a little bit so you'll notice I had him partially shaved. I'm going to show you how to get through these mats and uh, also how to use the brushes on him. So when you hear brush your Angora, we're not talking about like when you brush your hair. It's more of a flicking fiber type motion. Get out my grooming kit. I've got my doggy man brush and my little flicker brush, and of course, my clippers. The first thing, if you're not blowing them out, that'll be a different video. It's cold out, so I'm doing this inside. I don't feel like blowing outside. Just flick out the ends, and I'm not sure if you can see, but he's got it's a little mat at here, so we're just going to cut that off. Uh, and you feel them, so he's got another mat here. And it, they're sometimes impossible to see. You really have to feel for them. And I'm just going to try to flick some of that out. Nothing too intense. So we're just doing that flicking motion. Feel your rabbit. And so he's got some on his ears, but I like to keep the ears fluffy. I did cut some of it out. And remember, gently, because you got the tip of the ear here. I like to put my finger in the way, so I'll hit my finger before the bunny. I may have to cut that one out. And he's really not too bad, so we're just going to cut it all off to make him feel better. It's time. He's starting to molt a little bit. I don't know if you can see, but if I pull, I'm getting fiber off. Oh, hi, Sam. You'll feel better in a moment. Turn on your clipper if you're using the Gimmar. Make sure it's on 65. I'm going to turn this slightly. You want to pull the skin taut, and you can go in little bits, and you're pulling it taut because you don't want to nick them. You're not going to jam it in there. That wouldn't be any good. Um, if I were outside, I would take it and shake the ends to get the second cuts off, but we're inside. We're in my basement. I don't want bunny fiber everywhere. You can go as fast or as quick as you feel comfortable. And Sam is a very good boy for this. We're just going to take it all off. You may notice as you're shaving your bunny uh, that they actually have wool mites. And I usually wait a day to make sure just because it could just be red or dry skin from weather change, fiber, and give them a good 24 hours to groom themselves. And if you notice wool mites and uh, I'll do a video when I have them, because you will get them. It's just a thing that happens. Uh, how to treat those. It's actually very, very easy. And uh, don't panic. You're not a bad buddy mama. Or dad. Uh, you may notice I'm going flat along. And he only has his prime left in his sides, really. Like I said, I did his belly earlier. He got a little messy. I gave him some treats. And uh, he may have eaten a little too much. He's fine. So I cleaned him up down there earlier this week. If you notice any raw patches or the skin looks dry and... You treat for wool mites. I also like to give them a little bit of flax or sunflowers. The oils will help. And it's a nice treat for the bunny. Like a teaspoon or two. They don't need a ton. Too much fat can be bad for them, just like it is for people. Hey, what are you doing, my bunny man? Let's toss the fluff over here for the moment. English Angoras are incredibly soft. They're the ones with the fluffy faces and ears. They're probably the most recognizable of the Angoras. Uh, they're known for their really sweet personalities, and Sam is such a nice bunny. Oh my goodness, he is. Can you stay still for me? You're all excited about getting your hair cut. He's got a little coolie skirt now. Talk to your bunny. Sometimes they're wiggly. Gently put them in place. You can cover their eyes to calm them down. Uh, sometimes they'll get really hyper because they're so excited to get this haircut. 
I know when I get Sam's face, he gets real wiggly and happy because he can see again. He can see better. Stay still, Sam. Beautiful fiber. Not sure what I'll make with this batch. If you have Angora that's just as a pet, you can keep them short and instead of waiting a few months for it to get nice and long, you can trim it once a month. Um, I know some people, like I did initially, so terrified to have their Angora do it themselves. Uh, it's actually pretty easy. Um, Angora's basically been bred to tolerate this. Uh, if you think about it back in the day, uh, the really wild Angoras, people didn't have time for that. And some people still don't, so they didn't really stick around too long. Um, so, stay still and I'll show them the good part, Sam. Stay still. Make sure we're on camera. Alright, so what I'm going to do is pull this over, because I actually have a lot of skin. Let's see, kind of like a cat. So we don't want to nick that. We're going to pull it so it's tight against the body. Because we don't want to hit his hip. That won't feel very good. Stay still, Sam. We're going to pull it. Easy peasy. Um, if you were like me and really cheap and tried to do this with scissors, you may find out you're not a scissors person. Uh, it terrified me. I was so scared I was going to cut off part of my rabbit. Go ahead and get yourself a pair of clippers. They are worth the investment. They'll save your hands. Um, I find it's a lot harder to nick your animal or cut a piece of them. And they gave me a lot of confidence when shaving my animals. Also, it just goes a lot quicker. Also, you may notice they'll try to eat their fiber when you pull it off. Uh, don't let them do that. This is obviously very, very bad for them. You don't want them getting wool block. Uh, if you have wool block, which I'll do another video on, there are a number of different things you can do. Eventually, if it is really bad, you may have to get vet care, but like most of it you can do yourself. Most of it's the same thing the vet is going to do. Stay still. Okay, I'm going to turn off the camera so I can finish him up. We'll see what he looks like when he's done. All right, we are back. And Sam is all done. You will notice that I got his face as well. Um, it's a personal preference as long as it's not mad at. I just find that he enjoys being able to not look like a Muppet all the time. So we're going to put him back, and thanks for watching.